So this is what we need right here. As you can see, there's like a whole lot of corrosion on here. So I'm gonna try to take this blade off and then I'm gonna clean up the shroud and repaint it because I can't have a crispy looking car with a rusty fan, you know what I'm saying? piece of tape on that so I'm just gonna tape that up like that and then start scuffing away What's up world back at it again okay I got the radiator installed I got the fan on there I wasted a whole bunch of time painting the wrong fan like an idiot I ended up painting the AC fan I thought it was the cooling fan but this for the AC you see how crispy it is but um yeah that was the wrong fan I'm not running AC so I'm only using the engine fan which is on the left side when I'm facing the car. So I painted these brackets. Okay, I got the, the the upper and the lower hoses hooked up. Got the reservoir tank hooked up. So now I'm gonna put some antifreeze in here. So let's see if I could get this motor up to temperature. When the cooling system is completely empty, you gotta put about two gallons in there. Bleed the system. So, let me see if I could. Mosquitoes are coming out, so now I'm getting frustrated. Whenever the mosquitoes come out, that's when I call it quits. You just won't leave me alone, man. Call you a rat is getting his first drink of antifreeze. Uh, so right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put mobile one in there because eventually I'm gonna start the engine. So I have some cheap oil in there at the moment. I wanted to flush out any contaminants that might have been left over. Um, I don't have this on film because before I was documenting this build on a forum, so it was only pictures. But I put a balance shaft eliminator on this motor and I had to, I had to uh, drill a hole in one of the main caps. So just to make sure any filings or debris out, I put some 
cheap oil in there and I'm going to drain it out. Check out that oil cap. Mobile one only. So I'm going to go ahead and drain the, the oil. Um, you guys don't know, but I have a magnetic blocks drain plug on there. So I believe it's a 14 millimeter wrench to take it off. So if there are any filings on it, I'm going to see it on the, on the drain plug because it's magnetic. So this is the, the blocks magnetic drain plug. I'm gonna see if there's any filings on it. And from the looks of it, there, there actually are some minute filings on it. So this magnetic plug is really handy because you don't want that debris floating around in your motor. It could cause a lot of engine grip. According to online, they say the H22 takes 4.921 liters, which translates to 5.2 quarts of oil. So I'm gonna pour the whole thing in. As far as the point two goes, I'll just leave five quarts in. Drink up. So there's been a lot of things, like this whole motor's been apart, like the distributor, the battery's been relocated, like there's been a small wire tuck, so like any of a number of things could go wrong. So I'm just praying to God and keep my fingers crossed that this thing cranks on the first attempt. The ECU is already wired, the injector resistor box has been bypassed, the starter's hooked up, the battery's hooked up. So. We're gonna go for it.